think unfortunately um, the average person in Toronto doesn't realize the extent of the homeless issue um, and, and how severe it is for many people. Uh, as officers of the city, we deal with it all the time. We see how bad it can be and how much there is of it. In the heart of winter and the freezing cold, when we don't want to get out of our cars, um, people are sleeping outside under a couple sleeping bags, especially just an average person in Toronto. There's no way they could understand what that's like. Well, the reality in Toronto is we're at unprecedented levels in homelessness. So over 8,000 people tonight will be homeless in the city of Toronto. Senior homelessness in the city of Toronto is at a crisis point. In the four years, the number of seniors who are homeless has doubled. Haven Toronto is the only agency in Canada that is dedicated to the needs of older adults who are homeless. Haven Toronto provides a, a physical space, so we have this building here at 170 Jarvis Street where the men can come in all types of weather, have meals here, we have nurses here, we have counselors here, we have showers, we have uh, clothing that they can get. Uh, we can connect them to all range of services in the community based on uh, their needs. Haven Toronto, with uh, the funding that we get from the United Way and our other principal uh, funders, we have to stretch our money all the time. So we become very adept uh, doing a lot with very little. Well, I think overall having uh, relationships with the Toronto Police Service and 51 Division uh, builds trust. When uh, the constables are out in the community and they engage with our men, they know each other. And the fact that they're here frequently, the fact that they're here uh, sometimes volunteering on their own time, uh, really resonates with our men. My relationship with Haven as a Moss Park Neighbourhood Officer, I'm going to say, is fantastic. They are supportive as of us doing our jobs as police officers in the neighbourhood. They're easy to communicate with, they're approachable. Uh, Haven treats their clients with dignity and respect. What would surprise people about the homeless population is that being an elder male, the consequences or the repercussions in the end are, are more severe because of the age. Not everybody that comes to here has a place to live. A lot of them are homeless. Some of them stay in shelters. Some of them stay on the street. It gives us a place to, to come. I mean, what would the people do without it? They go sit in a park, they go sit in a mall. Here they can come here, they can see friends, they can get a meal, have a shower, get clean clothes, uh, play pool, work on computers, or just sit and read a book. It's a fantastic place. Before I joined the club years ago, I didn't know, know what to do. I lost my job, I lost my place, and I was homeless. I was stayed at the, uh, the shelters, and I didn't know what to do. It helps out a lot, because they don't feel lonely. It's like a family here. If a person's got problems, and they talk to the staff, or talk to other people in here, and then they don't feel so lost. Then they, you know, they try to start to get their hopes up without losing their hope. At the beginning, they had no hope. Now they have to start to get hope again that things will work out. Running an organization like Haven takes money. Uh, they have full-time staff members. They have part-time staff members. The counselors um, that takes money. The United Way is a huge portion of how they provide their services. If Haven didn't get the funding and wasn't able to operate, it would have a huge impact and a huge negative impact on the elder male population. And it's a vulnerable population. And having those men on the street and not having the resources available to support them in their day to day, I think would be devastating for a large number of men that use them on a regular basis. I would encourage anybody who's considering giving a donation, if they're not doing it on their own already, to do it through the United Way and so that they can support an organization like Haven. There are people just like you that ran into a bad situation and they're trying to get by to make their situation better. 
if a few dollars can help them achieve that goal, then by all means, please. Without funding, this place would not be here. And where would all these old folks go? You don't need to give much. What you need to know is that even the smallest dollar amount can help everyone in the community. When you give money, there's a direct impact to the community, and I think that that should be what we're made of. Give back, give back, give back, as much as you can. The scope of, of the organizations that the United Way helps is huge. There's likely going to be one or many organizations that are going to be of interest to you. Um, Haven is important to me and they get great funds from United Way, but there's children's programs, there's programs for other elders, um, there's all different types and one of those things is going to be important to you and United Way serves them all. I'd like to encourage everyone with the Toronto Police Service to give to the United Way because there's a lot of people and a lot of organizations out there that need our help.